The immune system can be considered as an extensive network of organs, spleen and thymus, lymphatic system, bone marrow, tissues, cells, and molecules such as antibodies, cytokines, and chemokines. The immune system protects the host from viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens that attack externally, and simultaneously protects the host from the growth of abnormal cells such as cancer within the system. The immune response is complex but highly specific. Throughout the process, the immune system is uniquely adapted to differentiate between the self and the non-self cells and tissues. In the case of tumor cells, the immune system recognizes these cells as non-self cells based on the neoantigens expressed by the tumor cells. The neoantigens trigger both innate and adaptive immune system to attack the tumor cells. The immune response elicited against tumor cells in entirety involves three phases. The first phase, also referred to as the presentation, involves the identification of tumor cells by the innate immune system and their rapid elimination from the host system. The dying tumor cells release tumor-specific antigens that activate cytotoxic T cells that belong to the adaptive immune system. The second phase is the infiltration of these cytotoxic T cells into the tumor site. The infiltrated T cells attack the tumor cells. The final phase involves the complete elimination of the tumor. The activated T cells also differentiate to form memory cells that provide immunity for a long term against the growth of tumors. The immune responses are finely modulated through different pathways. While the activation of specific signaling pathways can generate an immune response, the activation of inhibitory pathways can stop the immune response. These pathways serve as immune checkpoint pathways that ensure a balanced immune response against non-self cells such as tumor cells without harming the host system. However, cancer cells have the capability to adapt and genetically modify themselves and also inactivate immune cells to escape the immune system and proliferate to form a tumor.